A very good evening to everyone. Welcome to Global Online. And here we are with our UGC NTA Net preparation for Paper 1 for June 2024 cycle. And in this today's uh, session, we are going to see the unit that is Information and Communication Technology. In this session, we are going to do the most repeated questions which are seen on this Information and Communication Technology unit that is ICT. Uh, as per the analysis of few papers which we have done and it will help you to give a clear idea that what sort of questions we have to prepare and what sort of you know preparation level you have to do. So let's start the session. Before we start with the session, important announcement from 25th of uh, March, we will be having live classes on the app uh, with the new batches and how to join these batches and how to avail these courses we will be telling you at the end of this video so make sure that you're watching the video answering the questions gaining maximum marks uh, with all the right questions and uh, doing your preparation best so let's start with the first question so the first question is which type uh, which of the following type is a malware intentionally inserted into a software system that will set off a malicious function when specified conditions are met. So it is basically or talking about a malware which has a, you know, intention of uh, inserting into a software system that will result into a malicious function when specified conditions are met. So the, the reason is it is done at a, at a purpose level so that certain things can be, you know, uh, can be the way the things are needed to be specified to be by the person or by the user so whether it will be a worm or torsion or a spyware or a logic bomb so may, remember this function the insertion is done in in the software in order to result a malicious function when the conditions are met so from the options given below uh the one which is you know uh you'll set up a malicious functions when specified conditions are met is logic bomb so now let's understand what exactly if anyone is not aware of this term or i've heard it for the first time let's understand it properly so when we talk about a logic bomb it's nothing but a piece of a code okay which is intentionally inserted into a software system that will give or that will set up into a malicious function when specified conditions or you know when certain things are met right so, for example, a programmer may hide a piece of code that starts deleting the files. Okay, so this is what, you know, this is how you will see this logic bomb working into. So, the programmer will insert it in the software system and that will, you know, that will start deleting the files. So, that is nothing but a malicious function. Apart from that, we saw Torgen and Spyware also. So, these programs can be more dangerous. They both are the forms of the mal malicious software, which is called as malware. And spyware is software that is installed in the computer either directly or it can be inadvertently also. A Torjon program is similar to a spyware. Expect that that it is, you know, packaged or the packaged in another program. So it cannot be, you know, inserted in the form of direct, but it can be done in the form of similar to that of uh, spyware also. But at the same time, it can be packaged in another program. So we are going to do a session on, you know, virus, computer virus and all these uh, uh, software programming. That time we will be studying them in detail also very well. So computer virus itself is nothing but a malicious software program. And that uh, is also called as malware. So we, when we do the computer virus topic, we will be doing this very well. There was one more option that is worms. Okay, so it is basically... Uh, a kind of copycat, you know, it can spread to many computers connected in a network. So a software called as antivirus is needed or a firewall in order to protect your system from worms. So they are nothing but a family of a computer virus, right? So computer virus is again very important topic, should be studied very much in detail, which we are going to take in our live class. Don't worry. Then we have next question is SMT, as I said, uh, with um, every MCQs, I do bring, you know, some acronyms so that you people are uh, understanding them and reading them very well. So, SMTP is nothing but a simple mail transfer protocol, um, terminal protocol or a, a simple mail transfer protocol or, you know, a transition protocol. So, under protocol, we have started the protocol topic. So, under that also, we will be studying this. So, what is SMTP? Basically, a network-based email. 
right? So, which was initially exchange on APRANET. If you remember internet history, we started. We started with APRANET itself. So, it is an extension to FTP. So, but it is now, it was when we use APRANET, but now it is with an extension named as SMTP. So, what is the full form of this SMTP? So, SMTP is nothing but simple mail transfer protocol, right? Okay. Coming to, and I have also explained you, but still, you know, for your understanding, I have mentioned it also very well. As I said, it's an internet standard communication protocol in order to go for an electronic mail transmission. The mail servers and other messages transfer, you know, SMTP uh, to send and receive the email messages. Since introduction, that is since 1981, it has been updated, modified and extended many multiple times so yes it is it is you know with upgradation we can see it then statement uh, sorry we have next question in the form of statement first statement is uh, bluetooth is a wireless technology which can be used to connect a headset to a mobile phone bluetooth is a long range wireless technology and it is a low cost means to data transfer so two statements are given. You need to tell which statements are true, which statements are false. Looking at both the statements and understanding the Bluetooth technology, many of us are using it very frequently. Uh, so it is only P. That Bluetooth is a wireless technology, yes, which can be used to connect a headset or a mobile phone. Very true. It's a long-range wireless technology. No, there is a minimum, you know, uh, Low cost means it's right to for a data transfer, but it is not a long range. There is either it's the range is very uh, shorter. It's defined very well. So yes, only statement P stands to be right. Coming to the next question. Uh, sorry, before we go, yes, I have given an explanation also over here very well. So see, it is a short distance which was developed in 1990s to reduce the number of cables. Uh, then we have devices such as mobile phones, laptops, personal computers, printers, cameras, which can use to exchange the information. But as I said very clearly, it's only for a shorter distance, right? Coming to question number 14, two statement about operating system. So they have given, you know, the statement with reference to what operating system. Uh, operating system questions you get, but not... Uh, I mean to say you should know this topic. Suddenly it can, you know, also come. So you have to understand this topic very well and know it very well. So operating system is what? So in short, you have to ensure that uh, you have to label or you have to define what is operating system, right? So when we talk about operating system, the list is given to you. What, what exactly from the list do you feel stands for an operating system? So anyone who is aware of operating system or, you know, you have studied bit of operating system, you should be knowing this concept very well. Either it is a peripheral, uh, which gives memory and organizes the data, protection against virus or allocates the memory or the processor. So if I, if I just give you the uh, simple explanation, it will be easier. But just give a little bit of uh, a recalling to your mind. You are definitely, you must have done this. If not, you must have definitely heard about it. So what exactly is operating system? So operating system, okay, is nothing but, sorry, it's a control peripheral and which allocates memory and processor time. So this is something, you know, a system which is talking about or controlling the peripheral and allocating the memory, including the processor time. And that's what, you know, the, the, the exact meaning of operating system works as, right? Okay, we have done one question with the BCC. I even told you what exactly it stands for. So here they are straight away asking you what does BCC means. Whether it is blind computer communication, blind carbon copy, blind computer communication, blind carbon copy. Now see the four statements are given uh, with a different change. So uh, first of all, if you know the full form of BCC very well, you will be able to answer this question very quickly. But in that also, there are two options they have given to confuse you. So just go through it very well and then understand. We have already done in 2023 also there was question on BCC. But in a different way, but concept was same, right? So yes, BCC in an email refers to a blind carbon copy. The users specified in the BCC field will get an email and also can see the other fields, that is CC fields. And here will not see. See the difference. So if you oversee this statement or if you do a small mistake, it will be a problem for you. Right? 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्रोपराइटी सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर नो प्रोपराइटरी सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर इज वॉट दे हैव गिवेन ओके सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट प्रोपराइटरी सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर वॉट डज इट इंडिकेट्स और वॉट डज इट टेल्स whether it is you know a linux or a microsoft internet explorer or it is a microsoft office or it is microsoft windows so what does it exactly indicates proprietary software system system software so when we talk about proprietary system software the one which is you know uh, i mean to say yes we have i have given here it is microsoft windows so but for that it is very important for you to understand what does this proprietary system software stands for so it is nothing but a non free software or a closed source software it's a computer software for which the software publishers or any other person reserve the right of licensing uh, to use to modify to share the modifications so it is it includes some you know patent rights so it's non free as i said okay it is not as uh, free of cost it is non free and uh, it is used you know Uh, with certain rights in the form of licensing purpose got it yes now a program a computer program that in that spreads by inserting copies to itself in an executable code or exec, uh, or documents so if you insert the copies it will you know it will uh, spread it so whether it is a operating system it's a virus it's a firewall or it is antivirus now see now it is really very easy question so if you see if you know the concept very well of operating system virus firewall and antivirus in fact in first question itself i did with you it should be a quick set of answer by you people so when we talk about you know the computer program which gets spread by inserting the copies is nothing but it is called as what virus operating system we saw it's a you know controlling peripheral firewall and antivirus it's something which use as what a a solution to computer virus so the one which spreads because of inserting copy is nothing but computer virus right next one we have as i told you memory i have already given you the chart uh, one question of memory definitely come yesterday in the live class we have seen memory in detail so when terabyte of memory is equal to what 104 uh, sorry 1024 kilobytes okay or 1024 into 1024 kilobytes or you know tries or you know bits uh, bytes sorry Uh, so what exactly the terabyte will stand to so if you know the chart so that is something very factual you should you have to revise it you know at a regular interval in order to get a right answer for this so talking about the compute sorry the terabyte as the memory so it is 104 into 1024 into 1024 kilobytes is equal to nothing but 1 terabyte and terabyte zettabyte petabyte yettabytes these you know these larger uh, by uh, memories you should now study uh, you very really get very small qu uh, no questions on kilobytes uh, gigabytes or megabytes nowadays right okay next question that's denotes an error in a computer program so if there is an error it is denoted by what a bug or a virus or a spam or a bit okay now see bit you know it's very well it's an is it's a i mean say so it's referred to memory we are not talking about memory we are talking about an error so what will be an error so when you talk about an error very frequent questions in recent time also it is seen in olden pattern also it was seen so basically uh, a bug a software bug is an error okay or a fault in a computer program that can you know result into incorrect or unexpected results so it can you know there can be refills there can be you no know, a lot of effects and cause in order to freeze the computer or crash the computer so bug is basically an error right now in audio video compression the term rc rg sorry b means what so when we talk about audio video compression as gb starts with which colors so it is an indication of a color again something it's very factual if you do not know this comprehension it's very difficult so basically rgb it's a color combination of red red green and blue in the comprehension this is the term which is used for right so a computer's native color space and the system for capturing the color display image electronic all tvs all computers and electronic display screens collect create a color generation that is with rcg uh, sorry rgb lights that is nothing but red green and blue clear 
So yes, these three sets we have, this set of questions we have right now. As we said, we'll be practicing more and more in the coming days. Meanwhile, anyone who is new to our channel and wants to join Global Online, download the with the help of Google Play Store, download our app, register with your registered mobile number, go to the paper one. You Once you pay the fees, you will be getting an access to everything and you can definitely, you know, uh, start learning. A small, very small span of time is left for your UGC examination. So just make sure that your preparation is going well. Yet there is no notification and dates announcement, which once out, we will be telling you very quickly. So that's all we have for the day. And thank you, everyone. And see you in the next class soon.